Greetings, hobby enthusiasts. Today we dive into the exciting task of painting one of the most detailed figures, the mighty Slant Star Master. But first, it's important to note that this figure is full of detail and complexity. To effectively paint this figure, we need to understand how to direct the viewer's gaze towards the main element. In this case, the powerful Slant Master. And here is where the figure ground theory from Gestalt psychology comes into play. Gestalt tells us that our brain tends to organize what is in the figure, which is the main object of attention and the background is everything else. Knowing that the environment of our Slam Master is a lush jungle, where greens dominate, we need to find a color that contrasts and stands out in this section. To achieve this, we turn to the color wheel and choose the color complementary to green. In this case, orange. Complementary colors are found on opposite sides of the color wheel and create greater contrast when combined. By choosing the orange color for our slant master, we ensure it stands out against the green background. Green, in summary, understanding and applying the figure ground theory, we can make sure we have the skill to reduce the risk of diseases. Direct the viewer's gaze where we want it. Now that we understand the importance of directing attention where we want, Towards our main object, get ready to see the Slam Master come to life. We start by priming the miniature in black, so that the next layers will catch on. You can use an airbrush for this, or if you don't have one, you can use a Chaos Black Spray from Citadel. We continue with a top-down illumination using white, that is by applying a grisel to highlight the main volumes. We apply Sahara dust here on the front part of the miniature covering the skin. We continue painting the skin with a mix of Carmine AK and the new pure magenta ink from AK. Uh, we make several passes so that we gain intensity and remove that grayish look of the grease eye. In this step, I tried highlighting the shadows with night purple ink from here. Next, we're going to block out the different materials surrounding our Slant Master skin. We want to cover large areas as quickly as possible. We add to the previous mix black green and the new ink from here, wood brown, as a base layer for the Slant Master's Gloss. In this advanced level tutorial, you need to start getting comfortable with mixing and keep trying and experimenting on how to achieve the desired tone and value. As you can see, we illuminate the most prominent areas of the face.
we draw some lines that connect the different volumes so there's continuity among the slant fibers. Finally, we paint the palms of the hands in the same way with strokes that mimic the lines formed on the palm. We generate an intermediate tone to continue adding texture, this time in the transitions. And now we use carmine color to paint the side volumes of the slant. We keep repeating the process. The goal here is to keep creating texture and information continuously to enrich the figure. As you can see, I'm playing with the mixes to get the tone and value I want. As you can see, I always take advantage of the leftover mix, looking for places to apply it. For instance, placing it between the bellies yellow and the adjacent tone. Uh, this exercise isn't easy and needs practice, but it's very beneficial for improving our painting skills. Don't be afraid to position the lights. As you can see, it's always possible to overlay the path to correct. If we go too far, for example, in brightness at some point, we highlight the knuckles we continuously create new shades and position them, for example, to correct certain points of the miniature. With this, I want to make it clear that the painting process is not always linear and there's always room to experiment. This allows us to discover new results that come from trying and making mistakes. As you can see, I not only highlight the existing wrinkles on the slant's head, but I create new wrinkles that will again add more information and interest to the miniature. At this point, through repetition, you should be grasping how the skin of this land is being constructed. Even though it's a bit long and repetitive, I leave you with the entire process below, because I think it's interesting for you to analyze 
how I make the strokes and where I place them. If you look closely, I don't usually dilute the paint much. Uh, since I don't like working with glazes, I think this way of painting is quicker and more effective. For me, uh, placing the lights is more important than achieving a smooth transition. We apply the final lights. This light is placed in specific areas where the main light planes are located. To conclude with the details of the miniature, I cover the tympanums of the slant. I apply some highlights and then some glares to give it a more three-dimensional and spherical look. Then I smooth out the transitions. In this last step, I use Liquitex inks and the airbrush to create a filter that gives a cooler aspect to the slant's rear and also give the feeling of being in the shadow. To a full covering areas I don't want, I've used green stuff masking putty. This trick I learned from, this, from the painter Sergio Calvo. As you can see, I like to keep learning and applying techniques used by other painters. I think it's the best way to keep learning and improving day by day. Lastly, we remove the putty pieces with a spatula. In this final step, I increase saturation by diluting the previously used orange ink with lots of water and with small, very subtle touches. I'm creating filters on the skin. Be very careful not to go overboard. It's always better to do less and add later. Uh, to finish this tutorial, we're going to add more realism to the skin. Uh, we're going to create a dark purple mix that we'll use to paint small spots on the body. We do this by creating dots of different sizes and grouping them into areas. And finally, the awaited final result, where you can see how our incredible Slant Star Master stands out. About the green and brown environment of the jungle. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. But wait, want more? Want to see the whole process? The details of each painting the mixes I used, and all the advice I have to offer you, so don't miss the extended version of this video. All this and much more is available on my Patreon. As a subscriber, you will have access to additional content, 
including the rest of the tutorials to complete this series. Figure, including the base you've seen in the tutorial. Plus there are tutorials to complete other armies. What are you waiting for? Join our Patreon community and elevate. Take your creative experience to the next level. Click on the description in the video to subscribe today. See you there and thanks for your support.